so it's a privilege for me to spend some time with you around the word. We are busy with our, our series, uh, The Great Story or The Journey. We are working through the Bible. We have, we have gone past the, the crucifixion of Christ. And Rulof shared with us yesterday two amazing things on the wrath and the judgment of God in the first two days. If you missed that, please go and watch it here on our Facebook page as well. But then I want to speak to you about righteousness by faith. And we get that part in Romans 3 verse 9 to 26. Now Romans 3 verse 23 says, we all have sinned and we fall short of the glory of God. We are, we are outsiders that have been invited in by the work of Jesus Christ. Now that invitation to the inside comes by faith. We believe that Jesus is the Christ. He is the Son of God and that He can save me. Our works can't save us. Our works are like filthy rags. They mean nothing in the sight of God. If you go and read Philippians 2, verse 8, 9, and 10, uh, it says that the, 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 the work of salvation through Christ uh, is by grace and grace. We can't earn it. We can't. He gives it because He's good. He saves us. And then verse 10 says, but the response of that, or, or what happens because of that, or what's the evidence of that, is good works. You start to live, talk, move, be different in the way that God has called you. And, and if you look at scripture, the whole scripture, the whole theme of scripture has got to do with repentance, turning away from all these things and picking up something else. So good works is very important, but it's a response to the, the, the saving grace of God himself. That's the response of it. In itself, it cannot save you. It's nothing. It's empty. But when it's rooted in my sonship and my daughtership in who he is, you, you know what? Then we can go very far because then Christ has done an amazing work in you. But this whole idea of of righteousness by faith. It is by faith alone that we believe Christ is the Son of God. And the evidence of that is in, in, in how I live. That it, the Bible says that a, that a tree is known by its fruit. A tree is known by its fruit. So when I, when I believe that Jesus is the Christ and I made the righteousness of the Father, you know what happens? There must be evidence on my life. I cannot say that I'm a follower of Jesus and there's no evidence on my life. That is very, very important. Otherwise, we're going to miss the whole thing. So your works can't, it can't save you. Faith in Christ saves you. And the evidence of that faith is your works. There, there, there's something that goes along with it. You start living, speaking and being and moving in a different way. That is the, that is the reality of it. And I really want to encourage you that even the, the shortest salvation prayer in the Bible is Lord, save me. Lord, save me. Three words. Maybe today you need to save that, say that prayer. Lord, save me. You know what? And the Bible says everybody who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. They will be saved. And you are invited into the righteousness of the Father. You are invited into that reality today. As we go into this big story and we look back and we look forward and we're almost through. We've got a couple of the, the devotionals left. But, but in this reality that in, the, in, the, in His great love for us, He did something amazing for us. That if we believe that, salvation can be our part. And I pray that for you in your life today. Maybe you need to tell somebody. Maybe you, you need to pray this prayer. Lord, save me out of your heart. He sees the depths of our hearts and he, and he makes us the righteousness of the Father. He's inviting you to do that today. May the Lord bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye.